Hi, Collective. Welcome back to another reading. I hope you all are, just, are doing well. Um, let's just jump in. I don't know what we're doing. Um, I had a really weird dream. Again. It was like my pet, not these past people, but like one of, like a, two old friends of mine, I would just say that. Um, were at my house and they were mad at me so they tried to run me over and then I watched them flip their car I ran into the field that they flipped their car in and I was like are you fucking serious and then they shot me in the back twice when I was walking away so I died I came back and then I like walked it was like outside of my old house so I walked back in my room I put on like a shirt and I was like I was looking for a gun for some reason. And I was like, no, you know what? Handgun. That's the best way to do it. So I had, you know, handgun energy. And I walked back out there. And the one that shot me was just laying in the car. I guess they were, I don't know what happened to them. They were just kind of laying in the car again. Like I, they both got out, but they both, but when I got out there, they were both in. And then the other one had a really long sword and was trying to like, get at me so i grabbed the sword and said the sword is like flimsy like i had like a whole control over my dream i know i'm kind of skimming through it but like he swung it at me and i grabbed it i was like this floor this sword is flimsy as fuck and it just like started flimsy and she then he was like oh god what are we doing like you know just scared there's an energy of anxiety is what i'm trying to say anyway they looked at me and i took the handgun and i was like you know boom 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 um, they shattered like glass, and then I like phased into this white room and could only see like the shattered version of their face, and it looked like some demon. I don't know what demon it was. Um, I don't even know if it was like a specific demon, it just had like a very like demonic flow to it. And I said in the dream state, Take me to where their souls are, and I flew to where their souls were. And I would, I started, I don't remember what I said to them, but I was talking to them about something. And that was just an interesting dream. I also, part of the dream as well, at, at my house, um, my nephew came up. Um, and was wanting to see my dad, and my dad wasn't in my dream. You know, he's been passed away for a minute. So I didn't, you know, I assume that, you know, his business on this earth is, on this realm is done. So I, I kind of just looked at him and was like, sure, whatever. And we started hanging out. Um, He wanted to shoot a gun. Uh, it was like a really, it was like a golden and wooden revolver. It looked really cool. Um, And I was like, sure. But as he walked outside to get the targets ready, he, fr like, the whole dream froze, and I walked outside, and a black and white feather landed on my arm, and I looked up, and my mom was there, and I just broke down crying in the dream, and woke up, and that was very interesting, too. So, there's definitely a presence of just passed on loved ones being around. We have the Emperor, the Star, the Death, and Magician. The Lovers wanted to come out, too. With judgment the, and the world. With judgment in the world. Someone could have made a wish to end some sort of magic being done on a relationship for you with the tower popping out too and that's like so yeah that, that's a struggle because now judgment is that you are in this new cycle and that's a tower moment for someone someone doesn't like the fact that you're gonna find love this could even be family someone is just upset that you're gonna find love wow I'm gonna use the panther first. I don't really. I don't know how else to begin this, dude. 
I don't even know if those dreams tie in with the message. I, I felt like saying it, it might tie in. But what's up with this death? This this wish. What's going on with this conflict? Someone's fighting. So there's conflict. Someone could be fighting about how lucky you are. Or someone's trying to fight the fact that you got what you wanted. Someone's cursed because of their bribery. Someone's in conflict because they thought they would have luck in stopping you, but now they have a curse due to this due to them taking bribes out of their ego. What the fuck? Because of this professional's plan being stopped. So yeah, this person's plan is stopped. Someone's just cursed because they took a bribe. Was the money worth it? Real estate, disturbance, homeless, yeah. Someone's investment has them really disturbed or has them pissed off, like really irritated because they feel like a castaway, this person might be going homeless as well. And they're scared. This bully, this bully is scared because they lost and they're bound to whatever they wanted for you. Yeah. That's, that's justice. That this person gets overloaded. Wow. Oh, that someone vowed for justice? Someone someone made a wish. Like, if you've been making wishes for your justice, I feel like there's a lot of people who have been wanting you to get your justice collective. All in all, and, like, the prayers have been answered. Like, you are getting your justice. A vow in justice. Have hope in, like, like... Someone made a friend. A friend wants to give a friend wants you to have your blessings and they want to give you a gift. Your blessings could be a part your blessings and your gift could be having new friends as well. Someone vowed that you'd get justice though. It's like this is behind the scenes. Someone like was really praying that you would get justice. And you would have peace. What's this accident about? Why the accident come out? What's this accident about, Spirit? Apology. Yeah, someone needs to watch out because they're guilty. And someone has the idea to come towards you and ask for marriage or ask for some sort of union because you're a sweetheart. So someone's so someone's fucked and another person wants to collaborate with you. Yeah, seriously. And then it came out right when I said collaborate. Someone wants to collaborate with you. Seven doesn't feel like it's right that you're in the position that you're in, merit making, and yeah. Someone sees that you were just being bullied and, and moved around because of the goodness of your heart, and they almost want to put that to a stop. This person's been daydreaming about you. This is good energy. This is like justice energy. Yeah, and there's they might be stressed out though. Why are they stressed? About coming to this compromise? Because they know you're an introvert, so it's gonna be hard to come to you. But if they are promising to like be nice to you for whoever this resonates, yeah, self love. This person sees that you love yourself. There's an energy that's mad. They this energy wants to be flip floppy. I'm not gonna pay attention to them. Yeah, because this other energy is just stubborn. 
and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pay attention to it, spirit. What's the good energy? We're ignoring the bad. Yes, yeah, so stay calm. Someone's making a promise uh, to be friendly to you. And everything's going to be okay moving forward. Someone just feels really dumb and awkward for using for doing all these spell works on you. And they really want to come out, but I just do not care. Because they don't feel sorry. They're sorry that they got caught. They're sorry that they're getting karma. That's the only reason why they're sorry. So they don't get they don't get to have their words. We've heard enough of them. We don't need to hear them anymore. Unless anything new they want to say comes out, you know. And it has to be of worth. It cannot just be bullshit. It has to be of worth. I simply will just not care. So what's going on here, Spirit? We have the Emperor. The Two of Pentacles reverse. Empress, Four of Pentacles. Someone knows that they can't play with you, Empress. This Emperor knows that they can't play with you because you have control over your life. You have control over what you want to do. Which is, I feel like, again, while they're having a hard time coming toward you, they might just be used to people who are not so... I want to say independent. But they feel like their wishes aren't going to be met and you're going to walk away from them. Queen of Cups. So what's going on with this spirit? Who's... who's... Uh, the world reversed. So they're stuck in an old way of thinking. They're stuck in like an old way of doing things, an old cycle. Um, and they're needing to get over that and be brave. Yeah, with the two of wands and the fool, they do seem like they are going to make the sleep queen of pentacles as well with the high priestess and the three of wands. Oh, high priestess reversed. They don't know how they're going to move forward. They don't know how they're going to make this leap, but they are going to come towards you. Which is interesting. They just don't know how to come towards you at this time. Because they don't they know that you don't want conflict and they know that like your wishes are being fulfilled and they don't want to like I feel like this person is a person that was like praying it for you with the ten of wands yeah this person wants to put in hard work for you though this person's working hard they see you working hard page of pentacles and they see your things or they see that you have like a really good like you have really good grounds and they don't want to seem like they're trying to use you Yeah, but they do want to have some sort of contract with you. Sorry, my head is like dying right now. We have the King of Swords, the Devil, and Judgment. They do want to make... This could... This feels like a contract contract. Like... Like a house, or an apartment, or... Maybe even a marriage. That's the truth, though, with the Ace of Swords coming out, the Two of Swords. This person just doesn't know how to come to you. They almost feel blocked. So they're kind of like making a plan how to come towards you. And they're doing it slowly, but they know they want to come towards you because you have ended some sort of cycle of injustice being given to you. Ten of Swords reverse. Yeah, and you're very, you're like... If this person thought that you weren't healed at some point, I'm not saying that they were, but this person sees you in very high regards. Yeah, Queen of, Queen of Swords. 
they see you as like someone that could like actually fix the fix their life and this is someone that wants to as well um we have the ace of pinnacles the page of cups this person does want to make an offer to you with the again with the four of swords um yeah it's like they want you to rest though they want you to like relax with the page of swords and they know that you want to relax the lovers reverse and the eight of wands reverse if this person does want to have some sort of lover lovers quarrel with you it's not going to come in quick it's going to be something that is like a slow thing like this person just wants you to breathe actually with the five of cups you know this person knows that you have a lot of regret um in your past and they almost want you to just take a breath of fresh air and know that everything is going to be okay And they want to be able to help you with that because you might have helped this person in the past do that as well. The hangman reverse and the four of cups. Yeah. This person needs to sacrifice something though. Or they need to stop doing something from the past. Or they feel that way. Page of Wands, yeah, and they just don't know how with the Seven of Cups. They're think they're weighing out their options. They're trying to figure out how to come towards you and how to do all these things. It's like this person is doing a lot in their personal life, um, and they're gonna have to stop doing something with the Five of Swords reverse. Yeah, this person's gonna have this person's really gonna have to drop something at Emperor, something that gave some some sort of like position that they have they're gonna have to drop that so they can come in with the ten of cups and have like a, a beginning with you queen of wands it's like they they're weighing out the pros and the cons and it's like they would they, it's like all the pros are with you there's not really there's not any real con i mean there's cons but there's nothing like heavy but it's just like everyone around this person is kind of making them see like it's a con. But the seven of swords. Yeah, this person doesn't want to deceive you. This person doesn't want to be fake towards you. This person wants to see you like thrive to your fullest. With the, the, the king of pentacles, they might feel like you're a little standoffish. With the chariot and the ace of wands reversed. This per yeah, this person needs to be brave and not worry about not having some sort of willpower. Coming towards you. Again with the chariot and the eight of swords reverse. They are gonna they are finding this willpower to come towards you. They're not being stuck. The eight of pentacles and the three of pentacles. They may be coming with another person as well. This could be two people or up to like three people. And I wanna come with you wanna come to you and actually work with you and help you. These people aren't bad. These people want you to trust them. Yeah, but they're having a hard time, like, coming towards you. It's like someone, they don't know what's going on in your life to the point. Like, they could just message you. Honestly, I don't know why they don't do that first. They could just message you. But they're thinking a lot. They're thinking a lot, a lot. They don't know how to, like, come towards you. That's the truth. This person has to, like, this person knows that you're different with your earnest energy. Like, you're very different. And they're just, like, they want to come towards you and, like, okay. But they want to come towards you and make some sort of offer. They just don't know, like, when the best time would be. So they're trying to find that out. <laughs> we have duality, home, and dream. This person's thinking about you a lot. This person's comparing, like, I just heard life, I'm hearing life would be sweet. That song, whatever the fuck it is. Your ancestors are really trying to push this person towards you as well. And this person's ancestors are trying to push 
them towards you. It's like someone want, needs to come towards you. And your ancestors are here. They really are trying to like guide this person towards you. Someone just needs to be honest. Someone needs to read in between the lines and realize that the only reason that they're not coming towards you is because of them. It's like it's a them thing. They might be a runner. And that's a cycle that they're trying to break. But they, they want to start a life with you. They want to grow with you. They want to they want to explore the truth with you. They want to see more. It's like this person, you could help this person spiritually grow and they, they're ready for it. They want this. And it's not even in like a... Yeah. Someone could be telling this person that it's a that they're going to be having a downgrade if they like, like you're going to be some sort of issue. But we have Anubis energy. Like you're the exact opposite of a downgrade. The person that's telling this person that it's a downgrade going with you is probably the downgrade themselves. I was about to say I have deja vu, and then that horn hit. And then it really clicked in. And then there's blessings on the bottom. And that really clicks in too. So this person knows that you're a blessing. The per This person's just... The, the, there's a liar around this energy. This person needs to shut the fuck up. <laughs> this energy needs to shut the fuck up. I'm gonna be honest. This could be a boss or like a coworker that's talking shit about you too. It's something about your heart. You have your heart hidden. You might have your heart hidden from this person's coworker or whatever the fuck because you see the bad in them and they can't see that. We have blind. Something's hidden about this liar that this other person can't pick up. And this might have been the reason why you just dropped contact with them in the first place. And they... They're starting to see why. But it's like. I don't know. I'm, I'm getting a lot of like pullback from even talking about this. Because a lot of you all might even be like, well, you know, I would just stop talking to him. Yeah, but you're already on this path up till now. We're talking about someone that hasn't really started, started their like journey. We're talking about someone that's still like in limbo between realms of 3D and, and, and like Christ consciousness. We're talking about someone that hasn't even put the first foot through the door fully yet. So yeah, you would go and you would leave them, but this person still has ties to the 3D, which is perfectly fine. Um, you were not as eager to make this leap either. There's a need for you to be understanding and your lack of understanding might be keeping this person away energetically. Remember that whatever you project out puts that field around you and if this person is trying to come in it's like oh you, you're not ready so i don't want you whenever like it might be god's plan for this person to come to you so you can prepare them okay it's not all about you there there's a bigger thing going around please remember that but they want to make this leap that's the truth though i'm telling you the truth that's the truth the sun and truth this person wants to come towards you this person wants to like have some sort of relationship some sort of bond with you a very healthy bond but there's people around them that are like trying to promise them more like the devil's pulling the pulling the tricks on them this is a lesson of this is a cycle of discipline this person might be blind to some sort of illusion being pulled over their head this person could be a water sign as well or have water in their chart but god's watching them they you do have a contract with this person oh yes you do you very much still have a contract with this person you have a contract to grow with this person i'm you know here right here and so that's your mission i hi wake up this is your mission to help this person go through a rebirth they are just stuck in between realms at the moment. They they need this rebirth. They want this rebirth. They need to move, but they're like in a crossroads situation. So they're sitting still for a minute and meditating and thinking before they connect with you. But your ancestors are guiding them and their ancestors are guiding them to get close with you. Again, your ancestors are very much here. That's the truth. 
you guys could have uh, Greco, Roman, or Egyptian ties together as well. And this person might not even know who their ancestors are, which is who you, who, which is like what you're gonna awaken this person to almost as well. But it's one of those things where no one else but God can do this. I mean, no one else but you can do this. Excuse me. This is something that God has appointed you to do. Um, and if this person like wants to evolve, they have to come towards you. And they know that. They're just nervous. They're just so nervous. Because they want to grow, they want to evolve, they want to learn. But it's one of those things where we all kind of start off like wanting to learn and grow and evolve, but we're all scared to. Because it puts us out in the unknown. And though like a lot of us like to learn, this person likes to learn, learn too, but they don't know what they're about to learn. They need to like prepare themselves for that. Because they know they can learn a lot from you. And the Three of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles, the Five of Swords, and the King of Swords. That's the truth. Yeah, seriously. Someone's healing. Someone wants to heal. Someone wants to work with you so you can heal. So that you both can heal. From a King of, King of Cups reverse. You both have had some sort of same like trauma from emotions or like love life or just roommate issues. And they want to heal that. And they know that they can heal that with you. The moon reverse. Yeah, this person knows that you're not a, like you're not gonna break their heart. You're not gonna like be mean to them. You're not gonna like cause some sort of like it's. I don't want to say it this way because this word can be very triggering to soup a few people. But it's a very like actual healing home, not one of those fake ones where they trap you in. This is like an actual healing area, but this is a judgment call. Like judgment is here, um, because there's a lot of there's a lot of potential um, with this. But someone needs to make the first move. This person needs to make the first move if they really want this. Yeah, and that's justice. That's justice to the will of fortune. Oh my God, seriously. It's just fair for you to go. It's like this is what needs to happen. This is your justice. We have the Hermit, the Lover's Reverse, the Two of Cups. Someone could be breaking out of a relationship or breaking out of a roommate situation and just, just taking time to himself. We have the Queen and King of Wands, Reverse, the Fool and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, someone ended some sort of relationship or ended some sort of contract with someone that wasn't fulfilling. And they're kind of just worried right now. They're kind of like thinking about what they're going to do or if it's even the right time to come towards you. But it's like they don't like there's something they don't understand with the world. There is a cycle that is complete with the star and temperance. Yeah, you'll bring things into balance. You're a wish come true. You're a genie in a bottle. Um, they just need to let go. Uh, this person could just be worried about finances as well with the Queen of Pentacles. They, that could be like their main worry. But it's one of those things where it's like they don't even have to worry about that. They're, they're letting their brain, their ego take over. King of Cups... In the upright, page of wands, six of cups, five of pinnacles. Yeah, because this person knows that you're innocent and like you will do all you can to help. Like there's something about this person just being stuck about not having the, the adequate amount or you not wanting something because X, Y, Z or some sort of like, I don't know, like they see you in energy. They see you as very regal, seven of cups, queen of cups. It's just something about you and your energy. It's like it's like really pure and it can fix a lot of things up. And this person and the person next to them want to heal as well. Not the liar, but if this person does have a secondary person, they both want to heal. They just need to be strong and make a decision. Yeah, they need to just make this Ace of Cups to you. Because it's like, there's no bad blood. There's no bad blood at all, but someone's just scared. Almost to have like a, a happy, healing, like non-toxic home. Because they've never had one of those before. Or a non-toxic relationship. And they've never like truly had one. And they're like, 
they're wanting it. Like it's like that's their victory. That's what they want. And that's what they're gonna they want to move forward with that too. But there's just like something from the past that's holding them back. Um just a fear of not ha a fear of lack is what's coming up. This person might be afraid that they have to take care of you as well, which is like again, like not really a thing. You you can take care of yourself. Um but this person's just allowing a lot of fear. It's just like I don't know if this person's like really stressed out. They should just take a break from a lot of things and not do things as much. Like maybe this person needs to like this person might like a might, you know, like might like public appearances, but they're doing too many as well. And they need to just stop for a second <laughs> and breathe. Cuz it's the energy of like stress, like almost claustrophobic energy and it's like the energy of relaxing, fire, time, but yeah, it's time. Time's burning, dude, and there's a storm coming. You're protected either way, collective. But this, this, it's, time is running out. Time is ticking. You're a healer. Good fortune. Healer's good fortune. Someone's just jealous that you have divine protection, magic, and home. And someone's lost, okay, so because of this, someone's lost, so someone, so if you coming in makes someone lose all protection, losing all guides, they're going to be off their karmic path, their new moon manifestations are not going to come in, and a distorted earth sign is going to like lose something about nature, it's like someone's going to be left out because you come in and someone needs to stop thinking about that, but that's the full moon, like someone wants to communicate you with the, about that. And this new life, a water sign is trying to ground themselves to talk to you. This could be between like all the signs. This could be like um, earth, air, fire, water type things. And you're all living together or you're all just friends. Or it's like an air, earth, fire sign living together. Or take it as it resonates. Um, but it's going to be a very like balance, a chemically balanced area that this person like really wants to have they're just not sure if you want to have that which is i don't know why they don't just ask you that would solve so much but we have calm loss forgiveness abundance education yeah stay calm this person needs to stay calm because of this loss you might need to stay calm there's a need for forgiveness we have abundance education someone's repressing there's repressing some secrets um, and they might be mirroring some emotions that you used to have or mirroring emotions uh, or a situation that you got out of as well. I just felt to do that. I don't know. Spirit immediately wanted me to put that back up. <laughs> I have never put a deck up that quick. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that's the message. I don't think Spirit wants me to dig in anymore. This person also is just very embarrassed, it feels like. There's just a sense of like, butterflies in the in the stomach like their gut is tingling i'm gonna shuffle three more times spirit okay i see i'm gonna shuffle three more times and the whole deck comes out so we got a lot to talk about there is a lot of activations what the fuck we'll take them all i don't care uh, we have Earth Star activation, anchoring, grounding action, Isis energy. So Isis is definitely here. We have Orion activation. Isis and Ra are here. And Orion, Jesus, supernova, recreation, renewal, rebirth by light. There is like an actual like union coming in. This could be, this is like a, a divine contract union that's going to like come together soon. This is the energy it's giving. The central sun, abundance, downloads, regeneration, success. Um... Inner Earth, base chakra, strength and security, laying foundations. Star being, star being healing codes, important information, wounds are healed, recharging. Um, Akashic Scargate, align with purpose, crossroads, no wrong path. Ancestral realm, karmic release, healing the lineage, boundaries. God, dude, this is a lot of healing going on. Like, this is going to heal not only your lineage, but their lineage and like... 
it is going to do a lot like this is a lot of activate this is like heal this is like almost a global healing thing like it's going to increase the earth's like vibration i feel i feel it we have hathor life codes light immersion full system upgrade power recall palladian activation everyone's everyone's voting for this by the way like the whole universe is voting for this it feels because like palladian activation coming together harmony in the heavens resolution heart of source all-encompassing love unconditional acceptance serenity chamber of the violent flame karmic release radical transformation even saint germain wants this what the fuck gaia gateway activation learning experiences wisdom transmission earth intelligence i i telling you solar light upgrades solar plexus inner fire willpower it's going to bring something to light. Like, this is going to bring, like, a new life to Earth. I swear to God. Like, this needs to happen. We have memories of Atlantis, spiritual acceleration, progress, and technology. Anunnaki light codes. Energetic shift, new information, end of a cycle. I am presence. Light, bo light body activation. Ex accessing the d divine within. Karmic board clearing. Energetic clearing. Rewrite your story. Live your truth. Um, Thoth light codes. Initiations. Great teachers. Awakening, divine magic, and Merkaba activation, transcendence, ascendance, and you are rising up. This is like we have Thoth, we have Ra, we have Hathor, we have the Palladians, we have fucking oh my god, Gaia, we have the <laughs> we have the Anunnaki, the Palladians, Saint Germain, your ancestors, Atlanteans. What the fuck? Starvings want this. Isis, Ra, like. This is something that's crazy. Like, this is going to really... This is... I mean, with Thoth even coming out, that just confirms. This is, like, something that's been written. This is, like, a divine, like, thing. I just heard divine intervention as well. Like, the divine might intervene and just fucking take over this person and be like, listen, if you're not going to do it, we will because we need this to happen. Um, the angels come through. Let's see what's going on with this. I'll shuffle three more times. Yeah, and we have Michael. You are protected. Let me start with Michael because I just shattered him out instantly. Hey, yeah, Michael, you are protected. Uh, thank you, Michael, for surrounding me with your pre protective light. Take time to breathe. Thank you, angels. I breathe with ease knowing you're here. Open your heart, Archangel Shamuel. Thank you, Shamuel, for removing the barriers around my heart. Yeah, this person could even have heart is like not heart issues, but just heart chakra issues. They might have a hard time opening up their heart. They might also like you, they might have used to chase their exes a lot, and that's causing like a fear as well. But this person needs to open up their heart. Peace and harmony, Archangel Raguel. Thank you, Raguel, for surrounding my life in a harmonious light. Synchronicity. Thank you, angels. I trust your well-timed guidance and signs. Count your blessings. Thank you, universe and angels, for the blessings in my life. New beginnings. Thank you, angels, for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. Spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. Express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express my inner creator. Honor your feelings, Archangel Hanael. Thank you, Hanael, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. And last but not least, move your body. Thank you, angels, for motivating me to move my body and my energy. Yeah, this person needs to just honor their feelings and come towards you. Because you might not even know who this person is. That's the thing. You might have so many energies around you, like looking at you, that you don't even know who this person is. And if you do know who this person is, uh, cool, they should reach out to you. But if you don't, this person needs to reach out to you. Because this is like, time is ticking. And this person wants this, but they're about to like, regret not coming sooner almost. Um, but I love you all. To the moon and back, tenfold and forever. Thank you so much. Thank you angels for being here as well. Let me not forget that. Um, but I love you all collective to the moon and back, tenfold and forever. And I will see you all later.